What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to multiply binomials together using the distributive property or distributed method, okay? So it's not too bad. Let's start with this first example right here on the left. So we have x plus three in parentheses times x plus four in parentheses, okay? So all you're gonna do, doesn't matter which one, well, I'll show you how, how you can mix them up. So for example, let's take x plus three, okay? Just write x plus three twice in parentheses, x plus three, x plus three, okay? Now what you're gonna do is take your other parentheses right here. So we have an x and a four, right? So we're gonna put an x here and a four there. Okay, and since this four is positive four, we're gonna put plus four right there. Okay, so now all you have to do is take this term on the outside and distribute it inside of the parentheses. Okay, so take the x, multiply it by the x, and then by the three. So x times x, that's equal to x squared, and then x times three is equal to three x, right? And then since we're adding right here, you just keep, bring that straight down, okay? And then do the same thing over here. We have a four, so you're gonna distribute it inside the parentheses, so multiply it by the x, and then by the three. So four times x, that's equal to four x, and then four times three is equal to 12, right? And then again, since you're adding here, just bring that straight down. And again, since you're adding this one, you also bring that one straight down. Okay, so then here we have x squared plus three x plus four x plus 12. Okay, so then this is almost your final answer. The last thing you have to do is check to see if you can combine anything, which normally will be these two middle terms right here, okay? So three x plus four x, you can combine those to be seven x, right? So then bring down the rest of your problem, x squared plus, and then this plus 12 right there, so plus 12. So then your final answer right here would be x squared plus 7x plus 12. Okay, now let's go to this next example right here. So we have in parentheses 5n plus 9 times in parentheses 4n plus 3. Okay, so with this one, I'm going to show you that you could do it the other way also. So going back to this first example real quick, we took this first parentheses and wrote it twice, right? In this one, we're gonna take the second parentheses and we'll write it twice. Okay, so let's do 4n plus three and 4n plus three. The reason I'm doing this is to show you it doesn't matter which one you choose to write twice. You'll still get the right answer either way, as long as you followed the right steps, okay? So since we wrote this one twice, now what we're going to do is go to this other one, so 5n and plus 9, and split those up and multiply it by each of these. Okay, so we'll take 5n right here, multiply it by this first one. Here we have plus 9 right there, so we'll just write plus 9 right here. Okay, so again, all you have to do is distribute. So starting right here on the left, so we're going to take this 5n and multiply it by 4n, and then multiply it by 3. Okay, so 5n times 4n is equal to 20 n squared, right? Five times four is 20, and then n times n is n squared. And then five n times three is equal to 15 n, okay? And then since there's this plus sign right there, bring that straight down. Okay, and doing the same thing over here, we have nine, so multiply it by the four n, which would be 36 n, and then multiply it by the three. And then nine times three is 27, right? 27 and then we have the plus sign right here so bring that straight down and then this plus sign right there bring that straight down okay and again checking to see if we can combine any like terms normally like i said it's going to be these two middle terms right here so we have 15n plus 36n and that's equal to 51n okay and then bringing down the rest of it we have this 20n squared plus so 20 n squared plus and then this plus 27 right okay there's nothing left to combine so then this would be your final answer 20 n squared plus 51 n plus 27. okay let's do one last example and this is going to have a minus sign in it so let me just show you how to deal with that one really quick okay so again i'm going to take the same path i did with this first problem so let's just use this first set of parentheses. So I'm just gonna take this first set and write it twice. So x plus 2y and x plus 2y. Okay, and then I'm just gonna come to my second set of parentheses and I'm gonna take my two terms. So I'm gonna take x and 
negative 1. Okay, so I'm going to put x right here, and then I'm going to take negative 1 and put it right there. Okay, so again, just distribute. So we're starting over here on the left. We're going to take this x, multiply it by this x, which is x squared, and then x times 2y is 2xy. Right, we can't combine x and y in any way, so we just write it as xy. And since we're multiply, or sorry, since we're adding, bringing that straight down, and then coming over here, we have a negative one. So negative one times x is going to be negative x, right? And then negative one times 2y is negative 2y. Now, last thing to do is check to see if we can combine any terms. Like I said, normally these two middle ones you'll be able to combine, but as you can see in this case, we can't, right? Because here we have 2xy and here we have just x. So those are two completely different things. So there's nothing left to combine, so this would be your simplified answer. x squared plus 2xy minus x minus 2y. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below. Also, there's a couple playlists attached that I think you'll find helpful, so definitely check those out, and I'll see you there.